Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Thanks for tuning in. Well, this is the third and final part of the look at the Max Rebo Band 2 packs that came out in 1998. I keep... I need to check this again. 98, yes. I keep second-guessing myself every time. Um, we have here Barquin Dan and the coolest of cool, Mr. Droopy McCool. He has toes for hands and he looks like a... I don't know, a dog without eyes. I don't know, we'll discuss. <laughs> we will discuss. All right, so let's take a look at Barkwin Dan. Uh, for the most part, this is pretty much just... I don't... Did they do a cantina band in The Power of the Force too? I'm not sure that they did. Um, actually, I think they did, because I've literally just replaced... Um, the cantina band that came in the tin and i reckon they were all from power of the force originally i should have done my research on that i apologize um but we're here talking about figure and dan's brother bark when dan he is seen playing the clue horn in jabba's palace i have been very tempted to pick up a figure and dan in the vintage collection a recent a recent one to swap out for this guy, but with all these, with all his brethren in the band still, still dating back to, you know, 1998, I'm talking 25 years. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of rude to replace him with someone, you know, a, a far newer figure. Yeah, a, be a better figure, but for me, it's about keeping the band together. You don't want to, uh, I want to break up the band with a with a new member just because he's younger fitter i'd say more attractive but you know they all look the same they have got big big bum heads um, <laughs> um so yeah i am going to hang on to this guy until we do get you know it's probably highly unlikely at this stage um after all like how in demand is a new max rebo band going to be in three three quarter scale so i'm going to stick with this boy he is he's served me well for a lot of years and will continue to serve me with his delightful instrumental appearances as part of the max rebo band one thing i love about it is, is the sort of the bronze look to the instrument um modern ones just really i don't know there's something about the wash, the paint detail on it. It just looks, it just looks good, you know. Despite the fact the figure is, you know, he's pretty simple. Despite from the hands and head, it's all black. You can kind of see his shirt there. It's pre-posed. It doesn't need to be articulated. He's fine. He's in the pose I'm going to display him in. So he is fine. There's the back. And yeah, I have smushed a bunch of blue tack in his hand because just over the years, um, yeah, he just doesn't hold it all that well anymore. So I've just had to go for that little bit of extra support. Could do the old hot water trick, boil up the hand, and then, you know, as I'm cooling it off, close it shut just to, you know, allow that little bit of extra tensile strength and grip of the, in the plastic, but it's all good. I'm, I'm, I still like this guy. They will look great together. Uh, let's move him out of the way and bring in the coolest of cool, Mr. Drewby McCool. Now that's a face only a mother could love, or me. <laughs> no, I do. I love Drewby McCool. He is. He's, he's got the name. He's he's McCool. He is a cool guy. He is droopy and he is cool. But yeah, he does have toe hands or toe fingers. It's a little strange, these big old fingernails, our two toes, you think a guy with, you know, thumbs for hands, you know, basically wouldn't be very good at an instrument, but this guy, he is, he excels at his instrument, I can't remember the name of the instrument, <laughs> to be honest, let's take a look at it, it's uh, nothing like the modal nodes play, they don't have one of these, but it is a, it is a, like a, a a horn of some sort. Should 
should do my research, but I just want to talk about toys. <laughs> but he's got the little puppy dog, puppy dog nose. He's got the little puppy dog snout. He's got the sort of big bulldog. But then you look at the top and there's nothing. So I don't know. You gotta use your use your uh, imagination. Are those his eyes? Is that a little tiny skull head there? I don't know. I might be looking way too much into it. He does have his little little doggy ears there. But yeah, he's just a uh, a wrinkly blob blob of a person who only wears shorts. Which I'm glad he's wearing something. They look a little bit tight. You can see it's sort of riding up the old butt crack there. So someone needs to get him some new trousers. Something with a little bit more room. They look like they're cutting off circulation to his lower legs. <laughs> but he is cool. He is cool. Why else would you call him Droopy McCool if he wasn't cool? Um, I don't believe we've seen any other versions of this alien. I'm not even sure of his species name off the top of my head. Again, research people. I was no good at school. I didn't like school. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a school guy. I don't like researching. I just like talking about things. So, there we have Barkwin Dan and Droopy McCool, the coolest of cool, Max Rebo Band, the greatest jizz band, the second greatest. I don't know. Apparently, so don't quote me on this. I, I, I either read a story or I dreamt about it. Is that uh, so? We know the type of music that the modal nodes play is is quote unquote jizz. Unfortunately, qu named jizz. Yeah, not not the greatest name for a uh, genre of music. But word is that Lucasfilm are sort of slowly diverting away from that, and they're going to call it jats. J a t z. So jats music, which sounds a little bit more like jazz. But a little bit more, little, little bit less like jizz, so it's kind of a win. Um, interestingly, here in Australia, if you're not from Australia, I don't know. The Arnott's Company, they're a biscuit manufacturer, food manufacturing company, biscuit cereals, all sorts of stuff. Um, they do have like a savoury biscuit called Jats. So that brings me right back to uh, small circular crackers. <laughs> and yeah, there is absolutely no tie between the band and a dry savory cracker so that's fine <laughs> let's just go with it so we'll see how that all pans out in the future whether it's just going to be something that you know it's it's changed in books you know occasionally you'll get a a little mention of jizz music in a book um in a novel so whether they're just sort of swap that out for j jats we'll see um but that's all i will say about that thank you very much for tuning in uh next week i do have a plan if anyone does have any requests Next week will be the perfect video to uh, to start putting out a call for some requests. So we'll do that then. Um, but yeah, if anyone does have any requests for some figures that I do have, if I don't, I will endeavour to try and purchase them on eBay um, in order to you know add to and complete my Power of the Force 2 collection. But I do have a little list of videos to go for the next few weeks. But I appreciate you all coming and hanging out for the last... Oh, for every week. It means a lot to me. I'm glad people get a kick out of Power of the Force Fridays. Um, you know, it, it's it's a it's a era of Star Wars collecting near and dear to my heart and many. Um, so yeah, anyone that enjoys as much as I do, you're very welcome here on on my channel. And uh, we'll talk about some Power of the Force figures again next week. Until then, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you always.